In this video we're going to be playing Bully Scholarship Edition and we're going to review the game and by the end of the video I'm going to let you guys know if it's worth buying and if it's worth playing in 2021. Now this is a really interesting game for me to, to play again because I played it originally when it came out on the PS2, I played it when it was released on the 360 and now again I'm playing it and reviewing it now on the Xbox One. So the game is backwards compatible, so if you do have an Xbox 360 disc of the game, then that will work, all you've got to do is put it in the console. But if you don't have the game, it's only 11 99 on the Xbox One store anyway, so it's reasonably cheap. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know, um, it's an open world game that's set in a, in a boarding school. Jim is the main character, despite what the, the title of the game might suggest, he's not actually the bully. Jimmy um, sticks up for people who won't who won't defend themselves against the bully. So in essence, Jimmy just bullies the bullies. What I love about open world games, and this game is no different, is that there's so much to do. I love being able to go through the game at my own pace. I can complete the game in any order I want. That's what I really like about open world games. If if you want to skip all the classes and just do the missions, that's fine. You can play the game however you want, and you aren't restricted. Now I love the classes so I, I wouldn't skip them. I love them because not only are they fun um, and entertaining and each class is unique but you also unlock clothes and perks as, you're, as you pass each class and as you progress through the classes um, which help you complete the game. So for example you can unlock a health bonus from kissing a girl, um, you unlock a really nice perk which is m m my favourite perk, you unlock it from the geography class um, and you can you can see where the, the blue ribbons are, the collectible items, you can see where the gnomes are, you can see where the collectible cards are. And without that perk, you wouldn't be able to find them. There's too many collectibles. Without that perk, and it's showing you on the map where they are, you wouldn't be able to find them. Now it's nice to have that in a game, because you feel a sense of progression, and you feel that it's worth the time you're spending to do it, because you can see a, a physical reward from doing it. As well as having lots of collectible items, you also have many other things to do to keep the game entertaining. You have bike races, and there's loads of them. Uh, there's paper route and lawn mowing jobs, and you get money for doing them. So you can use the money to buy, buy clothes if you want. And I was really surprised at how many clothes there were. Um, you could use it to give Jimmy a haircut, you could give him a tattoo. Uh, the choice is yours, it's really surprising about how much that there is that you can do in this game. Um, another feature I liked was they had the carnival um, and in that carnival they had rides which I thought was a really, I mean it wasn't overwhelmingly fun using the rides but it was a nice feature. They had uh, carnival games which were really fun. I think one of them, I think it was called the shooting gallery. I think on that alone I probably spent about two hours just shooting at glass bottles. So. Um, I really enjoyed that and at the carnival as well that's where the go-kart races start um, and there's lots of go-kart races so there is a lot to do. Another really nice feature that they added in the game which I really like is that they have uh, mini games. One of them is on, on the screen now. Now there's three mini games with uh, and each of the, the mini games have a high score that, that, that you have to beat and you actually get an achievement for for beating the high score on each of the games. Um, and then there is another one mini game in the uh, in in the beach house that that you unlock. I mean that that one's a bit boring, but the one you're watching that was on screen, that one's really good. And uh, the other two, that that's a, a few hours of gameplay alone. There, just sitting there playing them. From stink bombs to go karts and slingshots to safe houses, just as you think you've unlocked everything, you unlock something new. I was really impressed with how the game just kept giving you rewards for playing. I was soaked in probably around 50 hours into this game and I enjoyed it. I would never, never, not once did I feel like, oh bloody hell, I just hope the game is come, coming to an end. Do you know when you're playing a game for so long you just want it to come to an end? It wasn't like that. I was playing it for a very long time. Um, I sunk a lot of hours into it and I really enjoyed this game. Another feature I like that the game's added in is that once you finish the last mission um, they introduce this thing, I think it's called the never ending summer. 
so you're still at school and you can you get a chance to finish um, everything that you didn't finish so if you didn't finish any classes and you wanted like if you wanted to get to 100% completion and you didn't finish any classes or or you wanted to collect more ribbons or you know finish bike races or, or anything or just even just run around on your um, on your skateboard or ride around on your bike it allows you to do that so I think that's a really nice feature um, so the game doesn't just come to an end and there's nothing to do it gives you a chance to to finish things that you you didn't get a chance to finish earlier on in the in the game this game has so many little details that make the game go from an amazing game to an epic game and I don't think anyone does that as well as Rockstar does I would love it if they made um, a body too I think I mean if this game was released I think in 2007 so like 13 14 years ago if that if they if the game was released then and it's this good imagine what they could do with the game now but um, I've done some research and apparently they stopped developing it to focus on um, Red Dead and GTA um, so I don't think we'll ever be yet getting one um, let me know in the comments actually how long you think GTA is gonna take until not even until it's released just how long do you reckon and when about do you reckon we'll even get a, a trailer After putting a lot of hours into this game, like I said, I've probably spent close to around 50 hours in this game. I think the game is a great price with a um, with an amazing story and funny characters. I feel it's it's got loads of content, and all the content is good. Rockstar games never feel like they've just added something in just for the just for the sake of adding it in, so they can say that they've got it in the game. Um, I feel like playing this is even 13 or 14 years after its original release. Um, I, s I feel that it's it's still a masterpiece and I think it's still a great game. I think for me it's even better because I played it so much when I was a kid. Um, it brings that back that nostalgia. So it, um, I, I just enjoy it even more. Um, but I would definitely, definitely recommend getting this game.